Well, so we're going to cook an entire turkey dinner right before your eyes in like 35 to 45 minutes. Okay. Believe what do you it or not. What do you start with to well, get this done Well, you have quickly. to start with the turkey. Okay. <laughs> so you're going to put the, is this? This is this is a turkey breast. You can buy these just like you see here. Okay. Uh, they sell for uh, probably around two dollars a pound. Actually, you get closer to Thanksgiving, they get less. Okay. They and might this get down is, to a dollar twenty nine a pound. Bone in as everything. Well, bone and this skin particular and piece okay. costs six dollars. And what I've done is I left half the skin on and half the skin off. Okay. Now what we've done over here, we preheated the skillet. The skillet's about four hundred and fifty degrees hot. There's no grease, no fat, butter, or anything like that. Okay. Just take the turkey breast. Whoa. Drop it into it's a loud. Skillet, okay? <laughs> now, how do you cook that without it sticking, without any fat or any butter? Well, that, that's that's the way Healthcraft cookware is made. It's made out okay. of a surgical steel. So you don't even have to add a little water to it or nope, anything. Nothing. You just just put it right throw it in, in a pan. Okay. What we're going to actually do is we're going to actually pan roast the turkey breast. Okay. Instead of taking, you know, my mother used to get up at 12 o'clock yeah. at night Middle to get a night. dinner on for 12 o'clock the next day afternoon. Yeah. So. And this is going to be done by the end of the show. That'll be done by okay. the end of the show. And how many pounds would you say? That, that one is this? three pounds. So you want to cook it, you want to cook it well or medium well. Some people like turkey okay. undercooked today. Cook that for about 12 minutes to a pound. Okay. You know what's great, great about this? What? When, when Jack's on the show, I only get to cook one food. Oh, you can cook an entire meal when I'm on the show. I'll let you yeah, talk, I'll let you chop, I'll let you do whatever you want to do. This, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to cook, uh, we're going to cook vegetables on top of the stove without any water. Now these are candied yams. We're going to stick a couple of pieces of corn in here. We're going to cook in the waterless method. All we're going to do is pour a little bit of water over the vegetables, oh, wow. pour all the water off. Just the water that clings to the vegetable is what you're cooking. That's all you're going to use. And they'll cook okay. in about 20 minutes. Okay. Okay. Now, do you cook it on high, medium, <laughs> low? The baby, maybe the baby wants some of this. The baby. You know, they always get up. Every time I do a show, I get up stage by a kid. <laughs> well, we just can't help it, you know. No children or animals. That's going to be cooked on low heat. Okay. All right. Next thing we're going to put on is fresh cranberries. Now, you go to the store today, you buy cranberry sauce, and you look at the side of the can, and you see all the ingredients that are in there. Mm -hmm. Most of them you can't pronounce. This is just regular old cranberries. And cranberries are pretty seasonal, right? And they're in season yeah. now for the holiday. Normally, you can't find them at any other time of the year. Okay. Now, these are going to be real bitter, so they're going to have to be sweetened. Okay. But we're going to cook them on a low heat with the vent closed, like the vegetables. They'll also cook in 20 minutes. Okay, did you not add any water to this? Either? No, no, they They're have just plenty a little of water. Okay. You don't need any water whatsoever. Okay. Now here, we're going to put on a raspberry cake. This is going to be a raspberry upside down cake. Oh, this cake. is dessert too. Yep. Okay. And uh, we're just going to put a little bit of parquet margarine in there. You can use a no-fat margarine if you like. Okay. And over here we've got the cake mix. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let you mix that up. Okay. Is this okay. just a, a box That's a cake Jiffy. mix? Yeah, okay. Jiffy yellow cake mix. And that's a one or two layer cake? That's it. This, this is going to like be a, a one, one layer, layer cake. Okay. We're going to put a little bit of brown sugar in the bottom here. And that okay. is going to season it. Oh, it smells it, good already. Right? I guess it's that brown sugar and, here's and butter. here's your raspberries. You know, raspberries are in oh, season again Okay, now. and these so are fresh, yes. whole raspberries. I had more raspberries than this, but my wife loves raspberries. So they, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> they didn't make them to the studio today. <laughs> All right. Oops. Now you're ready to go. Yeah, you just okay. pour that in. Doesn't just have pour to, it in yeah, on top of this. Yeah, it doesn't have to mix that good. Okay. Right? Looks Real simple. Easy. It's just like doing cornbread on top of the stove or anything else. Do you cook the entire Thanksgiving dinner at home for your family? Uh, no. You don't even give the <laughs> break on that day, huh? No. Nope. Matter of fact, normally every year we go to uh, we go to New Jersey for Thanksgiving. So you're out of town. You don't yep, even cook. Well, that's, that's a, a quick way of doing it too. Now <laughs> here is here is the best part. Matter of fact, yeah, this year we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have Thanksgiving dinner with not only my parents but with Chef Tell. We're gonna oh visit his goodness. new restaurant well, tell in Oak, Ottsville. Oh, he has a new restaurant. Yep, nice. He needs to come back and visit us sometime yep, too. He's coming back. Okay. All right now here we're gonna make the uh, we're gonna make the, uh, um, the stuffing. Stuffing. Okay. The dressing. And what is this? This is one cup in? of chicken stock. Okay, and you can All use right. canned chicken stock for yeah, this. Yeah, if you want if you to. Want. I made this. Uh, I made this out of chicken bouillon. Okay. All right. And this is a real simple and easy recipe. I'm going to get you to do all the stirring with this okay. one. Okay. Let me I see if I can all. find a large spoon here. Okay. What you do is you add one cup of chicken stock. Okay. That's you want me about. To start stirring. You or can do that. This? Sure. Okay. Put a half an onion, a stalk okay. of celery, okay. about four or five mushrooms. All right, and you mix them together. Now you can season this a little bit if you want with uh, garlic, right? Mm. And once you've got this boiling, what you want to do 
is you just take bread. <laughs> this is too easy. <laughs> All right, take your bread. Yes. Take about a half a loaf, okay. and you just you just crumble it up, up like you see here. Now, and you can use whole wheat bread if you, can, you want we to. Use, yeah, we use okay. whole wheat because it gives it a nice flavor. Okay. All right. Now you mix it up. Now, if you want to cheat a little bit, what you can do is put breadcrumbs bread in. As well. okay. <laughs> so that's that's part of the cheating. The nice thing about right. this, watch how this mixes up. It's just about getting ready to get hot. You know, everybody likes lots of stuffing. Yeah. And you can really oh, do a beautiful job. Oh, and it smells so good of already, too. Yeah. So these are the main dishes that you're That's preparing. That's your main dishes. I think we've got to go, but we'll be back in just a moment with more on Harrison Company. Now, I know if I had to cook a meal in 45 minutes, I wouldn't look as calm as you do. And what are you preparing now? Well, we're just putting the finishing touches on the meal. Here's something that you can do that's really, uh, really neat. Take your hot stuffing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? We just cooked. Okay, this was the stuffing that we yeah, made with the bread this is so to go into, well, mm, if there's so good. <laughs> <laughs> You're not like me, are you? Can't see, what <laughs> What you do is you mm. take the stuffing. Oh, Isn't that delicious? Yes, it is. That's better than my mom's, but don't tell her. Oh, it is wonderful. <laughs> she's and not, it was so oh, wait, easy she's going to gonna watch this tape next week when I go back up. Now I'm in real big trouble. And this take is one of the recipes. Quick. If they write for the recipes, they'll, yep. they'll get this one as well. This one's great. You Look at all you got to do is just put a little bit of parsley in the top. You've got it in a beautiful little uh, boat. Oh. And that's how you serve them. You put oh, one in each nice plate. Isn't that neat? That. We'll yes. put that over there. Okay. All set and ready to go there. All right. Now, all right. the only thing we haven't made is the salad. Now, we're going we're gonna to use a cabbage salad because uh, cabbage is rich in potassium, magnesium, iron, and phosphorus. It's a high fiber food. You should eat cabbage two or three times a week. It's a natural laxative, and this is probably the only time you get your family to eat it. <laughs> during <laughs> Thanksgiving. Yeah. So this is really a, a very healthy Thanksgiving yeah, menu this is as well that you're doing today. Meal. One, of, one of the good things about uh, Thanksgiving is that uh, what we do in our house, we always mark our spot. What I mean by that is after dinner, yeah. you know, everybody's got their spot <laughs> where they're going to go and sleep for oh, the next okay. football until game. Until you get up for the next <laughs> snack in the kitchen. So, but, okay, so but this is a lot lighter, even though if you eat a, a lot more food, it's a lot lighter than your, your normal uh, Thanksgiving okay, dinner. Okay, and this was just red cabbage and just plain green Red cabbage, cabbage green cabbage, cucumber. cucumbers, uh, yellow squash. Okay. We can take some radishes, dump them in there. All right, all do them on the same blade with the food processor. Oh, they look so, it looks so pretty, too. And if you, wanted to, if you wanted to top it off, let me just get another blade. I okay. just thought of Something else we can do. This looks good. We use this blade here. We can top it off a little bit of shredded carriage, uh, carrots. This is <laughs> right? wonderful for carrot and raisin salad too. Yep, you, know? you can do that. Yeah. And uh, there's your salad. How about that? Okay. How about a big hand for that salad? You know I, mean? I think it looks wonderful. There you go. So you've got your salad. Salad's done. Okay. Let's go to. Let's go to the next thing. I'll tell you okay. what. Okay. What are we doing now? Here, so they can get this on the camera. These are the cranberries. Now the cranberries, if you tasted these right now, are going to be very, very bitter. So these have only been cooking for about 15 minutes, is that yes. right? Okay. Yeah. See and how? just in their own juices. Yep. You didn't add anything to it. Not yet. Making our own but cranberry But you're going to sauce. have to because if you eat okay. those cranberries the way they are, you're going to have a, pro <laughs> it's gonna have a problem yeah, anyway here. Yeah. This is the old brown sugar trick, right? Okay. What you do is you put about a half good. a cup to a cup of brown sugar in here and you mix it in okay. and it'll actually sweeten up the cranberries. And you just serve this at, this is the cranberry sauce. Here. Yes. Okay. Now here's the key. This is stuff in the can. Here's the key to the cranberry sauce. This is what makes it look real good. The way you serve oh, this in the can is in here. Now this right. naturally would this that naturally so would be cooled pretty. off? See, these are the things so I can't cool do in Jack's here. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> cool it before you put it in the cantaloupe right. and serve it like this. Yep. This was so, so easy to ready. do that it's you know this is really isn't that amazing? Right, yes. All right, let's see how we made out with our cake. Let's move this over here. Now this is dinner. This here. Now is, I made the cake. I hope it turned out. This dinner here is dinner for four. So if you've got uh, let's say. Two couples, okay. uh, or a couple that's living alone in a, in a mobile home mm -hmm. park here in, in uh, you know, like in Zephyr Hills or something. Yeah. Invite another couple over, oh, and wow. oops. Oh, and, well, no, it looks good. <laughs> you have dessert. It looks real good. And to that, we're gonna. Oh well, this will make it even better. <laughs> put the, uh, the last time the we did this, you know. Just, oh, well, we'll do it like. You know what this. happened? Or, you know what happened the last time? <laughs> oh, that looks great. Yep. Mm. Oh, I like Best this. Best part of the meal. Okay. Then we have our vegetables. the vegetables. Now the vegetables are cooked okay. all the that way through. That was the sweet potatoes That's and the corn. corn sweet and they potatoes. cooked for only 
20 now, to 25 minutes. The nice thing done. about the nice thing about this, look at how nice like these are done. See? Oh, look at that. They're cooked the all the way through. Yeah. Now of course, the star is the turkey of the show. Now you is, didn't you put the turkey in, you Put the lid on, closed it, that cooked it. it, and that's it. You haven't right. touched it since then. And look how nice. Here's it the looks star wow. of the show. Now, in here, you've got all this natural this gravy. Yeah. What you do is you take the chicken stock that you had left over, you make your gravy with that, and your cornstarch, okay. and you're all set and ready to go. Oh, this is wonderful. And there's your entire meal your turkey, your vegetables, your stuffing, your dessert, and your salad. Would you believe Thanksgiving dinner for four to six people cooked in just 45 minutes? Now here's how easy it is. What you'll need is the liquid core electric skillet, the covered saute skillet, the three quart covered saucepan, the two quarts covered saucepan, and the Healthcraft kitchen machine. Now the way this works is real simple. Preheat the electric skillet at 450 degrees. Remove the skin from the turkey breast. Now you can use one large turkey breast at about three to four pounds or two two pound turkey breast. Drop it in the skillet, cover it, Open the vent, let it cook for 45 minutes. The next thing you want to cook is your candy yams and corn on the cob. It's very simple. Use your three quart for this. Take the candy yams, brush them with a vegetable brush, clean them real good. Take your corn and shuck it, take all the skin off. Place it in the pan, rinse it, pour all the water off. Put it on low heat with the vent closed, and that'll cook in just 20 to 30 minutes. The next you want to cook is cranberries. Take a large bag of cranberries. They use about 15 to 18 ounces in a bag. Now these are fresh cranberries, not the cranberry sauce. Put them in the pan, in a two-quart pan with no water, cover it, close the vent, put it on low heat. They'll cook in about 20 minutes. Next is a raspberry upside-down cake. Very simple. We'll use the saute skillet for that. Take two or three tablespoons of parquet margarine, put it into the bottom of the skillet, make sure it covers the entire pan on the inside. Take uh, brown sugar, sprinkle it in around the parquet margarine, usually around two tablespoons one cup of fresh raspberries then you take one box of jiffy cake mix make it according to directions usually it's one egg and one third cup of water mix it real good pour it on top of the parquet margarine the brown sugar and the raspberries let that cook covered with the vent closed for approximately 20 minutes on top of the stove and last but not least the stuffing this is very simple take one cup of chicken stock put the pan on a medium high heat uh, then you want to take one half onion Cut it up on the number two blade, take one stalk of celery, chop it with the uh, French cook knife, one clove of garlic minced, and saute these all together. Then you take a half loaf of whole wheat bread or two cups of bread crumbs, whichever you prefer. I like the whole wheat, uh, the whole wheat bread. Right? Mix that in there real good, and you'll actually form a stuffing with it. Make sure the, the, the celery and onions are cooked first. Now, here's how you want to serve this. Take your turkey breasts out of the pan, place them on one side one cup of chicken stock to one tablespoon of cornstarch. Mix that real good and deglaze the skillet with that. That'll form your gravy. For your candy yams and your corn on the cob, just remove them from the pan and they're ready to serve. The cranberries, you take one cup of brown sugar, mix it in with the cranberries till you form a sauce. Then you take the cranberry sauce, let it cool, and scoop it into cantaloupes. And that's how you serve it, one in each plate with a small cantaloupe. Your raspberry upside down cake is very simple. Just remove it from the heat, place it on a cold rag or dish rag. That'll loosen the cake. Flip it over onto a plate and then top it with whipped cream once it's cooled down. The stuffing, this is beautiful. Take your peppers, red peppers, cut them in half from top to bottom. Remove all the interior, all the guts and the pits and everything, and then just stuff it full of your uh, stuffing, place that on the plate. There's your entire Thanksgiving dinner made right for your guests, all your guests, in just 45 minutes. Absolutely delicious. <laughs> this is uh, turkey soup? Yeah, this is, this is a real interesting recipe. Matter of fact, uh, we first introduced this on the program last year, and we got such rave reviews about it, we decided to do it again. It's a real what simple... What that you poured into there? That's chicken stock, or you can use the turkey, uh, turkey gravy that you have left over, just dilute a little bit. But that's what you start at. That's what you're going to saute in. What is chicken stock, by the way? I mean, is this, you wet down your chicken and squeeze it or what? Well, I, mean, yes. I never really quite understood what chicken what stock. What you do is you grab the chicken and choke the daylights out of it. All right. <laughs> but I mean, is that, what is that from? Just after you cook the chicken, you leave all the, the leavings or? Well, like for example, let's say at Thanksgiving, you know how you have the bone left and everything? Yeah. What you do is you, you uh, put that in a pot of water and you let it cook. Uh, for about four or five hours, and that's how you get your stock. You See? cook chicken bones? Chicken bones, whatever you got left over, gizzards, whatever you might have. 
and you're all set. That's how you get your stock. That's how you get your gravy. Okay, now there's... Uh, now, what you're going to do is you're going to saute these... Uh, you're going to cook today, because i got to cut. All okay. right. All you've got to do is saute. What we're going to do... How am I doing so far? Very good. Okay. <laughs> you have to move things, though. All you right. You have to move things oh, around the pan. Take this or that? Yes. That That'll be fine here. right this there. One? There you go. Well, this is, is your enough. final cooking lesson of the season here. <laughs> <laughs> of the Thanksgiving season. Yes, Thanksgiving season. I'll have a couple of more before Christmas, now, I hope. Now, see, what you want to do is you want to saute. You can use an oil or a grease or something like that, but we're going to actually saute in the stock because it's better for you. Oh, I can imagine. It smells good. The stock Doesn't smells it? good. The other thing you want to do is you want to make sure you do your onions. You want to make sure you do your uh, celery and your garlic first because that's what will give you all the natural flavor. Okay. Okay, that's... This is a neat little grinder. Like what is that, that thing gotta, called, anyway? That's the Healthcraft kitchen machine. You got to have one of these for the holidays. I wouldn't Boy, it is it terrific. Mm -hmm. Chops and peels onions for you. Now, once you've got uh, once you've got this going, all right, you want to start real good. Keep sautéing. <laughs> this is sautéing. I've just learned to sauté. <laughs> yes, that's you're sautéing. kidding. This is all there is to sautéing. That's saute? it. Very simple. I right. always thought that was something real difficult. That's Look. gonna that's gonna give you your base. That's where all the taste for this turkey soup's gonna come from. See how I, we did the garlic? I wish my wife Just could see me now. I'm sauteing. Like you're sauteing. <laughs> One clove of garlic. Boy, I tell you what, right. I'm crying too. And you're all set. <laughs> okay. Is... Now, once you've got that sauteing, then you can start to add your stock. All right. So you can put the stock in in the turkey. Now I'm well, sautéed, now I'm adding stock. Yes, you're adding stock. I need to get you it. You blob it in all at once or just kind of pour it around? And then we're just going to finish off the turkey soup with How the, much stock do you want? We're going to put all of that in. Now normally this would be real hot at this point in time. And uh, you'd be stirring it and everything would be mixed together and the, the onions would be translucent. That's the key. Once they turn translucent, you know they're finished cooking. Right? What are they now? <laughs> well... <laughs> Oh, they're, I know, translucent. They're on, I mean, they're on live television. And you okay. take about, <laughs> they take six or eight minutes to cook. Now, oh, once you want you've some got more that stock in, in there? we're going to put the turkey in. Okay. We'll put the balance in. Now, what, what kind of turkey did you use here? Regular old turkey, 20 pounder. Right? You, were, you actually <laughs> used a turkey? Yes, we used a regular old turkey. All right. Okay. Now, here's the key ingredients to this. I bet this. you went out and got turkey breast or something. You watched before. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't see any see, claws he ratted, he or beaks. Ratted, he ratted on Mary Ann yesterday, too. <laughs> I didn't too. see any claws or beaks in there. I was just wondering. <laughs> he told everybody. I heard, heard where you said you got the uh, Well, she from. had to have a finished product, and we didn't have one, so we went out so to the you Village ratted, Inn and bought it. her out. She yeah. comes all the way from New York to come and do your show, uh, and you rat her out well, on was, live television. I felt now, bad about that. There's your there's your basic ingredients. Once all that's mixed, you can put tortellinis in. Oh, right? yes. Or you can put, uh, you can put uh, raviolis, if you like. Or you could leave out the carrots if you wanted, you, couldn't you? You don't like carrots. That's right. I forgot. Not much. And then uh, you top it off. This is a little bit of a sweet pepper. Am I still sautéing? Yes, you're still sautéing. What you do is you just top sautéing the Sautéing gets more difficult the more you put in here. <laughs> well, now what you can do. <laughs> no, you're not sautéing. Now we're cooking. What, what, did you, you do? what did you put in the top of that? That's just a couple little red peppers if you like it hot. Oh, okay. Right? And also, yeah, just a little bit of poultry season. Now you, you put it... Put the lid on, open the vent, you let that sit, and that'll cook for about 25, 30 minutes. Okay. Now, here's what it looks like when it's all done. Right. Boy, you're going to love this recipe. This is Italian turkey soup. This is the soup recipe that you make the weekend after Thanksgiving. Now, what you'll need is a 7-quart or a 6-quart Healthcraft saucepan. In addition to that, you'll need your uh, French cook knife or chef's knife and your kitchen machine. Now, the way it starts out is pretty simple. What you do is you saute celery and onions in a little bit of chicken stock. Once you've got it sautéed and the onions are translucent, what you want to do is put some garlic with that, put the rest of the chicken stock, your turkey leftovers, one cup, uh, one package of frozen peas, two medium carrots sliced on the number four blade, a package of tortellinis, the pre-cooked kind. I use spinach filled. You might want to put a dash of poultry season. That's optional. And cut up about a half a red bell pepper. Chop it nice and fine. Let that cook for about 30 to 40 minutes. The most delicious Italian turkey soup you'll ever have in your life. What we're going to do is we're going to show people how to make a bordelais sauce. A bordelais sauce? A bordelais sauce, yes. Something they can do in their own home. Not complicated. What very, is very simple, very easy. What is Bordelais sauce named after? Bordelais wine. Really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. I looked it up this morning. Well, I'm glad you no, did no, because this is an educational yeah. show. But we're not we're not going to use a Bordelais because this show is too cheap. <laughs> we're not going to use a no, Bordelais. We're going to use a cheap Cabernet Sauvignon. But a cheap Cabernet Sauvignon. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'll let you I'll let you open the wine. 
That would not look as good with a cheap Cabernet Sauvignon well, sauce. Actually, <laughs> actually uh, you're going to let me open this son yes. of a gun, huh? Do you know how to do that? Well, I think I do. You do this first, right? Well, not really. You don't do that. No, you, you have take to this kind thing. of get that plastic off there. <laughs> this, if it's a really a cheap wine, you do it like this. That's true. Where you twist it. No, 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 no. Here, what you do is you take this. See, this is what that's for. That is to cut around here. You just place oh, that and you cut around there. Sure. Okay. I've seen that before. And. Oh, geez. Why don't let me do that? <laughs> Why don't you do I'll that? I'll do that part. You make me nervous there. You just kind of take it and you just uh, kind of peel around the this top like you see here. This is a screw top, isn't it? Yeah, no, this is not a screw top. Oh, okay. This is not the wine that Joy said you tried to date her with. <laughs> right? Okay, now do you know how to get this out? Yeah, then you stick this down in there. Okay, sure? Okay. I guess. All right, we'll I'm going to turn the pan on. All right, now the, the way this works is pretty simple. What you want to do is you, we're going to saute the onions and the garlic. That's far enough. All right. Now you do something like that. Uh, yeah. Okay. Except it's not on there. Well, this is this Maybe is. Maybe I better let you do that. This is what this thing is for. See what, what thing is for? That thing right there. See? Oh, I see. Okay. Now what you do is you just pull the wine out like wow, you see that's there. Wow, so easy. Yeah. Isn't mm. it easy? Yeah. For me, it's easy. Ooh. Right. Okay. Now, what you want to do is you want to start Fine with wine. a good fillet first. Right. Good. Whatever. Whenever you're going to cook. You want to make sure you start with good ingredients. Now right. you can see the fillet here. I got this at Whaley's this morning. The most important thing is let the fillet set at room temperature. Anytime you're going to cook steak, do not cook the steak cold. Don't cook the steak cold, no, it like should right be. out of the freezer or something. No, because okay. that that's why it doesn't taste good. What will happen is the coldness of the meat will cool down the pan. Then you've got ah. a problem. You see? Yep. Like what I've done over here, we get a shot of this real quick. Oh. Now you see, I've cooked. Oh my, nice catch. Uh, nice. Like Oop, signal for catch done. on that one. Now a lot of people think you cook fillets uh, on the grill, and that's okay, but you know the, what happens, the fat drips on the coal, they're burnt back as pyrrolated hydrocarbons. That's equivalent to carcinogens in maybe 600 cigarettes. Did you know that? Did you know Son that? Son of a gun. That's according it's, to the American Cancer Society. And it's study, much so. quicker to eat a steak than it is Any to really, smoke 600 cigarettes, that's I'll right. tell you that. <laughs> Any good restaurant, you'll notice they're always cooking their steaks on the grill. Yeah. Okay, now see that? See how nice and brown that is? Oh, that is. I don't is. know if the camera that's, got it. That's almost like Pittsburgh, you know? Right? Yeah, it's almost like Pittsburgh. Matter of fact, if you go to Outback, you'll get a steak that looks just like that. Son of okay? a gun. Now what you do is you cover it, keep it on high, mm -hmm. or medium high, and you let that cook about, you like it what, medium rare? Uh, medium? About medium, medium rare. Eight minutes on each side. So we just did eight minutes on one side, eight minutes on the other. Okay. Now that we got that going, we're going to make the Bordelais sauce. And uh, you start with a little bit of wine. Wow, look how that beads up. You Just see enough that? wine. Have to that, might be a, that might be a little bit too hot. We might have to is. evacuate the Here studio. Goes the old smoke alarm. You okay. people have raincoats down there? <laughs> what you do is you take garlic. There's about four or five tablespoons or cloves of garlic in here. And what you want to do, <laughs> you got to clean up the mess around here, too. Can you smell how good that smells? Can you smell that? Oh, it does smell great. Okay. It's a little bit too hot, but you get the idea. What you want to do, put enough wine in the bottom of the skillet, right, to saute the garlic. Right. Why are you looking at me like that? No, I was just noticing this mess. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking oh. if this happened at home, all right, then you Leanne put onions. or Joy would be terribly disturbed. Well, we can clean it up like that, all right? Okay. So you've got your garlic, you've got your onions, and you'll notice this will keep on can reducing. Can we take a break while you set sure. this on fire? All right, I need you to open up a can of mushroom soup, cream that of mushroom I can soup. Do. No, no, you can't, not with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, see, the easy thing about this recipe, we could we could combine the cream and the tomato, I mean, the uh, the mushrooms and all the ingredients that go into here, but for most people, it's a little bit too long and complicated. So what you do, what is that? just open up a can of cream of mushroom soup, Ooh. right? Pour it in there? Put it, yeah, pour it into the reduced wine, and this is how you, you make this your wine's sauce. wine's cheaper than it was when we started? <laughs> <laughs> cheaper than when you started, right? Now you've got your sauce. Now you mix this together, it's going to get to a beautiful, deep burgundy color, mm -hmm. all right? And once you've oh. got, oops, <laughs> excuse me. That's pretty messy. Sorry about your shoes there, <laughs> all right? Once you've got this mixed, then you're ready to deglaze your skillet with it. Why don't you put a little bit more wine in there for me? Just a little, a little bit. more wine in here? Yeah, just a little bit more wine. Actually, use that's good. Just use about a cup and a half of wine, and it'll reduce down to about three quarters of a cup. Now, once you've got that done, you're ready to remove your steaks. There it goes again. Right? So let's put this steak on the plate. Okay. okay. And we'll put these two steaks over here for right now. On that plate. Okay. These are yours. Those are the ones plate. we're going to be eating a little now, later. You can bet on that. You'll notice you've got a major mess in here. Oh, yes. Okay. But here's what you do you deglaze the skillet with the Bordelais sauce. Wow. 
All right? And you'll notice it starts to get a real deep, dark color. It certainly does. All right? Isn't that beautiful? That is. That is a Bordelais. I kind of like the other color better than yeah. brown, but... Uh, <laughs> do you? <it's> <laughs> now, when they write in, now we gotta see, you know it's going to be oh. funny to see how they do this. By the way, all the recipes now come with a complete nutritional breakdown. Believe it, how many grams of fat do you think are in this recipe? I don't For know, a whole, 10 grams, 15 grams? You're close. How many, how many? 12 grams of fat. 12 grams, Isn't I was right something? on, I'll be darned. Okay. This makes six servings. Listen to this, this even has... Uh, uh, 0.47 milligrams of riboflavin. That's true, yes. And 22.5 megacycles or something, <laughs> this is, of folicin. Folicin. Boy, you know right. what, I just don't get enough folicin these that's days. That's true. Now, what you do, <laughs> you spoon the Bordelais sauce on See, top of the See, you've got alcohol line. and caffeine in here. Yes, it does. Not to mention thiamine, vitamin B12, B6, A, C. Percentage of refuse. Refuse, yes. What is the refuse? I have no idea. <laughs> well, fortunately, there's none of it in this. But we have all of it there. This is the way the dish looks when it's finished. We put on a red potato, one or two. You've got the Bordelais sauce on here. Which and is brown. String beans. Which and, are green. Yes, and some... I even I even broke. <laughs> you bought a the, red pepper. For the red peppers. Even <laughs> you bought a red pepper. there it is. There's a... Uh, this is something filet, we don't have a lot of these in Bordelais. Lithuania. You have filet Bordelais Mignon for one of those very intimate dinners or a small family dinner, because it's too expensive to do for the whole crew. But you're going to really love this because it's, it's a sauce that you can easily make at home that in most cases seems complicated. What you'll need is a chef's knife, and you'll need the large, deep, conventional skillet. Now, the way you start is very simple. You saute a half medium onion, minced fine, and two cloves of garlic, minced fine, in one and a half cups of red wine. Now you keep cooking that on a medium high flame till it's reduced to about three quarters of a cup. You add one cup of cream of mushroom soup, mix that in real good. Once that is mixed, set aside. Now the way you cook your steaks is pretty simple. Preheat the skillet on a medium high heat. Take your fillets, drop them in the pan. Now make sure you start the fillets or cook them when they're at room temperature. Let them sit out for an hour or so before cooking. Drop them in the pan with no grease, no fat, no butter. Cook to a beautiful crisp golden brown on one side. Now the time and temperature is very easy. For rare you want to cook five to six minutes per side. Medium rare six to seven minutes per side. Medium seven to eight minutes per side. Medium well eight to nine minutes per side and, and well is anything over nine or ten minutes. Once you've got your steaks cooked, remove them from the pan Put the Bordelais sauce into the hot pan and deglaze. You'll see there'll be a lot of residue from the steaks. Mix it real well, all right? Pour that gravy over the steaks, the most delicious filet Bordelais mignon you've ever had. Okay, what do we do? <laughs> but uh, it's actually, it's, it's a really neat dessert because it's made with fresh apples, walnuts, uh, the red hots, and raisins. Mm. And, it, you know, it's really simple and easy. Everybody can make it in their home. Matter of fact, get your pencil and paper out and... Jot it down. You'll be Take ready for next we week. First thing you want to do is cut an apple in half. All right. Which Very way good. do you cut it? Like that, that way that, or that way? Well, this it would be good if you cut it from stem to stern. From stem to stern? Stem to stern. Right. Like Watch your, right move your fingers out of the way. That's what I did. Like that. Okay. Once you've got that, then what you want to do is take a spoon. All right, and then cut the center out. Oh, you were watching me before. I, I saw said, you yeah. do. Whoops. Okay. I think you want to get well, you want to get the pits out. Part right? of it flew all the way across the room. Right. Then you want to pull the stems out. Wait a minute. I haven't gotten it all here. Okay. Oh, man. This, this is hard. Yeah, very difficult for you. Holy smoke. <laughs> okay, pull the stem out. There's more of them in All right. there. Pull that pull out. Pull the stem out. Now, you want to put it skin side down on the food processor. Skin side like skin that? Skin side down, yes, because you want to like cut this. it with the skin. You don't want to peel them. You wash them real good. Wash them with soap and water. That'll take all the stuff off. Don't stick your fingers in there. That's what I did. All right? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Some people ask, can you cut yourself on this? Uh, yes, but we don't recommend it. So. <laughs> well, you need a little right. poker or something to well, get that Well, that's what you get your, no, that's what you get your fingers for. <laughs> no, Jack, that's not what you do. Don't do that. Well, don't do that. Okay. Here, no, 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 just turn it. It'll go, it'll go. Huh? Just keep your fingers out. There you go. Do another one, all right? Once you've got that cut up, now you're ready to do all your mixing. Now, I cut up some apples in here before, so what you do, no. <laughs> Give me that. Still right You're there. You're such it is. a chicken. Well, I don't that's want to put how my fingers I, in it. That's not how I cut myself. I cut myself with a knife. Oh, okay. Right. Anyway, put the apples in there. 
All right, very good. Boy, you're getting better. All right, now we want to put some raisins. Put a box of raisins. Raisins, right, right here. Put your raisins in. Now, this is going to take a long time. You get the walnuts. Okay. <laughs> All right, get the walnuts. What you got to do is you got to, you got, no, don't open it. You got to, you got to crack them. You got to break them up. So what oh, you the want walnuts? to do, yeah, smack the nuts. There you go. There you go. Just chop them up. All right, you're all set. That's how you do it. <laughs> I should have let you do this one. I'm, I'm having a tough time. Okay, now you want to open that up and mix it in. And you're all set and ready to go. There you go. <laughs> Getting your frustrations out, huh? Yeah, this is fun. I can imagine why you're like, I heard your radio show this morning. Oh, oh that's right. The no, no, no. Open there. <laughs> okay, now right. pour that in. On oh, the whole bag? The whole bag. All right. You need to open the whole bag first. There you go. Okay, okay. Very there good. Go. Now, Red Hots. Take your Red Hots. These okay. right here? Red Hots. Okay. Mix them all together. The whole or, thing? Yeah, just put the whole thing in two, two jars. Two all jars right. of Red Hots? Very simple recipe. Oops. Two jars of Red Hots. And now you mix this all up, and that's how you make your dessert. Now, the nice thing about this, you cook this on top of the stove. You don't need any water. There's no grease. It's all natural ingredients except for the Red Hots. All right? Once you've got it mixed up, which would take you all day. Oh, wait a minute. I'm right? just, just kind of a little bit of <laughs> all right. stirring around here. Th they'll mix up while they're cooking. Okay. All right. Now, what you want to do is you want to put the cover on. You finished? Yep. Okay. There we go. Put the cover on. Close the vent. Put this on a low heat. And these uh -huh. will cook on top of the stove in just 15 to 20 minutes. Oh. Okay? So when you're finished, out? this is what it'll look like. It'll actually be hot. All right? You see all the beautiful colors in there. And you scoop this out. That looks good. That red that stuff, good? I guess, is those red hots, That's right? That's the red hots, Melted right? red hots. And there's a lot of sugar in the red hots as well. So from there, you take some of these... Um, Pecan Sandy cookies. So some what? And pecan sandies. Pecan sandies? Yeah, and you crumble them on top. Are those anything like pecan sandies? Pe yeah, the same thing. That's New right. Jersey for pecan? What exit? That's right. Okay. And on top of that, you scoop some vanilla oh. ice cream, oh. or you could do it vice versa. Oh, wait, don't say that to this man. Right. He does everything and backwards. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> what, what we used here is we used an eggnog ice cream. And, and there's your hot apple dessert done right before your eyes in just a couple of minutes. How about a Whoa. big hand for that? All right, that's terrific. You will absolutely love this delicious Thanksgiving dessert. Now, what you'll need for this is the liquid core electric skillet or the large deep conventional skillet and, of course, the Healthcraft kitchen machine. You'll need six apples. You want to cut them in half, remove the stem and the core, run them through the number two cone with the skin facing the cone. All right, you'll need one cup of walnuts, chopped or crushed, one package of candy. I use the Red Hots. They're the little red hearts. They're cinnamon flavored. One nine-ounce package of raisins and one cup of whipped cream or ice cream, vanilla ice cream. Mix all the ingredients together except for the whipped cream or the ice cream in the skillet. Turn to simmer with the vent closed and cook for 20 minutes. Now, I like to serve this warm with the ice cream and some crushed pecan uh, Sandy's, that's a cookie. The most delicious dessert you can ever have and only 15 grams of fat. Well, anyway, you got a lot of stuff here for eggnog. I thought it was much easier than this. In fact, I have generally just bought it in a store. You know, it comes that's in the containers way to do it. and all that. But, but you, you will never taste an eggnog as good as this one. This is actually Puerto Rican eggnog. Oh, Puerto Rican eggnog. It was created by a good friend of mine, Eddie Rivera, and his friend. Uh-huh. After much experimentation. Well, I, can <laughs> sure. <laughs> I can imagine. And I will point out, by the way, you can have eggnog without right. any kind of alcoholic beverages involved in it. Yes. Matter of fact, a lot us, of people don't like to, but water. Yes. In here, just for Absolutely. Television. Because of television. But you can. Yeah. No, you can do it. Yeah. You can do that. Well, what do you start with? Well, here? this is real. So I'm going to let you separate the eggs again. And oh, brother. This is where week, you take the yolk right? out of you the You do the yolk. And, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the... Uh, this. this is an interesting thing. I've never seen this before. It's called sweetened condensed milk. I haven't either. It's no. very gooey. But it, look Watch at this. It. It's like wallpaper paste, but it's absolutely it is. delicious. It is wallpaper paste. Well, no. what do... You've got to crack the eggs here. Well, we, what do we you... We only have no, two minutes Well, I was going to ask you what you would do with that. Now, this is, this is like condensed milk is like in the... Milk section where you feed babies, right. right? You can find it there. So normally you feed that to babies? I don't know. I don't. I oh, really I never know. used it before in any recipe, so it's new to me. Okay. Of course, then there's evaporated milk. Ooh. Now wait a minute. Which is oh, evaporated. Knows, That's what I'm. Everybody thinking knows of. what evaporated. You see the other stuff. That's what I was here. Thinking taste of. this. This is real sweet. Oh, wait a minute. I got my eggs cracked. Okay. Real sweet. I've never had that. Isn't that delicious? 
Wow, this is. This Isn't is almost like licking a pan. Okay, let's go. Effort <laughs> trade. Now, wait a minute. Right. To that, we're going to add some Coco Lopez. Now, wait a minute. I need did... a little help here. Now, we go with this, right? Yes. And you just make You're sure you don't good. lose that thing there. There you go. You got it. You can All separate right. it with your fingers, too. <laughs> no. Yes, yes. I'd rather do that. Here, the... no, let me show you. Here, here. Let me get an egg. Hold out your hold out your hand. You put that in there. Now hold out your hand. Hold out my hand. Now put put the egg in here first. Well, have I got it separated enough? Yes, yeah, that's separated enough. That's good enough. There's nothing falling out of there. Oh, Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Ooh. Wait a minute. Get off there. You know, if you cooked, nobody in your home would ever eat. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Now you're too slow here. Okay. Look at, no. Okay. Now watch. Hold your hand like this. So you Make like put a the cup. Egg in it. Put a cup there. Look at. Look. Oh. Now what you do? Ah. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Now see that eggshell and all goes right in. Okay. Oh, brother. Now we need one more. Okay, one more. Okay, minute. don't drop the eggshell in. There you go. Huh? I don't know. Do one more and you're all set. Okay, wait a second here. Okay, and I'll put the uh, Coco Lopez in. This is real thick kind of stuff, too, but it's it's a coconut oh. extract. Okay? To that, Good we're going to Look at that. Ugh. <laughs> oh! There you go. Okay. Now a little that, bit of. Is that separated enough? That, that looks pretty good. You don't want to use your hands, huh? No, I don't right. like use my hand. Wait a minute. Yeah. Hold on, here comes the other one. Whoop! Okay, we're all set. Now, all right. we had the final ingredient. Oh, man. All right. This is terrible. No wonder people go to the store and buy, oh, buy it. <laughs> These guys must have been. One-third rum. Have you got a? Right, here you go. Oh. All right. Now, I would turn this on, but see, I was watching a show when you did that ice cream shrimp cocktail, and you lost oh, the lid. Oh, when Joe was on yeah, that day. You lost the lid. I didn't lose the lid. Yes, you did. I saw it. No, I didn't. I in fact, I pushed the TV. shrimp through the lid. It had you, a little rubber no, thing on it. No, you lost the lid. No, I didn't <laughs> lose it. No. You're going to turn it on. <laughs> it's got a hole. I mean, I it doesn't know. have a thing. You can't well, do that. Well, if you that. didn't lose the lid, we wouldn't have a hole in the top. I You're spent kidding. a half hour looking for the lid this morning. Oh, wait a minute. I am okay. going to do this. There you go. Now, where do you, You're all set. Where do you turn it on? There's your thing right there. Right here? Yeah. Go. Why are you moving back? Is well, this going to do something? <laughs> no reason. <laughs> but it has to be mixed or it's not going to taste good. Oh, we got to turn that all the way. Oh, this isn't Looks so bad. like we're safe. Yeah, we're all right here. Didn't leak or anything. Nice work. Oh, <laughs> don't move your hand. Looks like we got it mixed. Oh, well, not, not much at all. Just one bad. little spot. Well, That's you got great. away with it easy this, this time. This is I terrific. Put more in it. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna serve this up, and uh, I bought one for our friend here, one okay. for me. All right, and I know how you like to drink. <laughs> so, we got one there and we're all set. Let's try this over here. This ho, 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 you're going to love this Christmas eggnog. Now, the way this works is very, very simple. But before I start, let me tell you, some of these ingredients might seem like they're hard to find, but I guarantee you they're in your grocery store. You start by putting one can of sweetened condensed milk into the blender, followed by one can of evaporated milk and one can of Coco Lopez. Now, that's a coconut extract three egg yolks, a half teaspoon of cinnamon, a half teaspoon of vanilla, and you can use one cup of rum. Now that's optional. You don't need the rum, but if you like it spiced, this will do it. Turn the blender on, let it mix. You can uh, chill that, and it's the most delicious recipe you've ever had in your life for Christmas eggnog. We're gonna make uh, we're gonna make some Christmas custard, and this is a real simple and easy recipe. You take about one and two thirds or one and three quarters cups of milk. Uh -huh. That goes in there. Oh, you have to get me uh, an egg uh, yolk. I need one egg yolk. That's the uh, the yellow part. That's it, the yellow part. You know how to do that, right? Uh, you separate it. Yes, you separate it. Wait a minute, I think Can I know how that? to do that. Well, I don't know. If this okay, thing breaks see. right, I'll be all right. One tablespoon of cornstarch. By the way, I'm starting with a cold pan, and we're going to use a, this electric oh. skillet. How you doing? Well, wait, I got this Ooh. thing apart. Now, hold on here. <laughs> I just run it back and forth or something. Yep. Drop that out. Now, hit that back. Oh! Nope. Oh! Well, just pick it up again. There you go. Wait a minute. Okay, Part drop it in now. here. Quick, Can quick, quick. Can you put quick. that over here? Quick, quick. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wait, Wait, there's some left in here. Hold on Pick a second. Pick it out, because we need it all. <laughs> all right, to this, we're going to have to add three tablespoons of sugar. All right. A little more of that. So, that's about, I like it a little bit sweet, so. All right. And, uh, a little more here. yeah, you're not doing too bad, huh? Now, what uh -huh. you do is you, you stir this all together, and you start with a cold pan. And we're using the liquid core skillet, so it has that liquid silicone oil in it. Doing real good. Then what you do is you put it all the way up and you bring it to a boil. And once you bring it to a boil, you turn it off and let it sit and it comes out like this. Ooh, a wad of See? custard. And it comes out 
perfect every time. Yes. Then you buy these little shells, uh -huh. and uh, you put the custard in the shell. You can do one of these if you like. Oh. Right. You can use. Here you go. You got your own spoon. All right. I like the right. pan. This custard was terrific. Put that in there, and then you can top them like with cherries or strawberries or blueberries and things of that nature. And that's how quick and easy and simple it is. I'm going to make a great See? one here. How do you like that? That's that looks that good. Neat? But watch this. And you can put a mint leaf on top if you like a little bit of color. I don't like uh, cherries, so I will. Now, if you crank the heat up real high, it gets lumpy, so it almost looks like a tapioca. Hmm. You know, so if you don't want them real, and uh, well, we'll see how they work. Well, we'll let him take his pick here. And this you could you our, could top this with a little bit of whipped cream beans. if you like. This is our. Wait a minute, let me get my microphone out of here. Right. Okay. Just a little Come bit on. of whipped cream. Wait. Oops. <laughs> Almost right. got away from us. Tom, what do you th give us a shot here? You got your choice of the uh, strawberry or the cherry ones. He's selected by you know this man has taste. Goes for strawberries. What do you think? Well, I don't really like custard, but. It's okay for custard, I guess. <laughs> Every happens. time I come out of the show, I make a veal roast, you get a, you get a vegetarian. I know, we did have a vegetarian you know, for the veal I make roast. a beautiful a souffle, you get a kid that hates eggs. This I, is, I, that's I, it. I had it. Oh, no, wait, you can't do that. <laughs> this wait, every time we get a gift, you can't who's do that. responsible for this? He's not responsible. He is. He's he's responsible. Who's oh. responsible for it? He's, uh, every time Charles, I come on this show, you've got to relax. Get this weapon away from this man. Oh, you are going to love this recipe. This is called Christmas Custard. Now, what you're going to need is you're going to need the liquid core electric skillet. And the way it works is very simple. Do everything in the skillet. Start by placing one and three quarters cup of milk in the skillet. Start with the cold skillet again. One egg yolk, one tablespoon of cornstarch, three tablespoons of sugar. Now what you want to do is whisk this real good, right? Bring it to a boil, bring it up to 450 degrees, bring it to a boil, continue to stir, and then turn it off. You let it set for about an hour till it cools down and then you put it in these little small graham cracker pie shells. Top with blueberries, uh, strawberries, cherries, and a little bit of whipped cream. Better yet, hold the whipped cream. Great. Speaking of that, I'll start cooking. All right, here we go. <laughs> Here's how to make your own at here, home. This, I, you know, so I love, I don't know, if we, J Jiffy does not pay me anything, but I love Jiffy cake mix. Oh. I love Jiffy cake mix. And they don't pay you anything? Nothing. They will oh, now, right. though. I'm sending I'm them sure this I'm sure they will. <laughs> but anyway, I'm, what we're going to do is I'm going to let you you start this. We're going to start with my old favorite. I love parquet margarine. Butter. You know here how, we go. How much I love that. You want to get it about four or five tablespoons of that Maybe in there. Maybe a little bit more of that. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. I think what you have to do is you have to take off the thing inside here. Okay. Oh, man. We forgot. That's a, whole, that's a whole show in itself. This was a child-proof <laughs> container, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, now. Is that enough? No, I'll get a little bit more in there. This is Christmas time. We can use a lot. What I want you to do is I want you to get it up around the side of the of the pan. Okay? Did you notice how the wrist came into play when he was okay. spreading that <laughs> butter in that pan? This up around the side. Yes, of it? up around the side of the pan. Now, All what right. type of chickens did these eggs come from? These here? are because these are fruitcake chickens. The fruitcake chickens. Uh, fruitcake chickens. This what is what I'm going to do is uh, we need a uh, a half. Hold that a second, please. A half of uh, <laughs> half a cup of liquid. They normally ask for water in here, but I'm going to make my own concoction. And what that is, that's an egg, a little bit of caro syrup, and amaretto. This is an amaretto fruit does, An does Anheuser Busch make amaretto? Yes, yes. This is, this is, this is made by their long lost cousin, Amaretto Bush. Now, there's some right. cooks back there saying okay. you needed to add more of that. I heard, of, well, I heard somebody back there. All right, now, there he is. watch how easy is this. You did a very good job, Jack. Boy, you're doing phenomenal. All right, now all we do is we drop the Jiffy cake into the pan, right? Uh -huh. Now don't do this at home. Don't do right. what at Did home? you this notice the even number right. of pats on the Jiffy cake one box egg. so that that camera would not show? Right. Watch this with one hand, one hand, killer. One egg. Take a look at this. Whoops. <laughs> Oh, very good. good. Right. Very good. Oh, we didn't get any shells in there. You did no, very good. Know. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're not. That was some of the uh, better than that. Some of the secret ingredients in here, believe it or not, are cloves. You take <laughs> cloves. <laughs> Pay attention now. I'm right. oh, we were and playing you in the... crush the cloves. You have to have crushed cloves. So we're going to put about a teaspoon of cloves in there. Is that, that a doorknob? Yes, that is a doorknob. <laughs> to that, we're going to add some... What I just want to see if there's a little shell in there. A lot of cinnamon. About a teaspoon or a tablespoon. Here's the fruit. I'll let you put the fruit in. This, oh, right. In the old days, they used chiclets. Chiclets. <laughs> this is what just they would use. In. Just blob it in. 
This is right, what, you know, I mean, this cake would be pretty good without and, this fruit. And, and this is almonds. This Anybody is that thinks this now, is fruit, don't say it that. is this not is, fruit. A, this is old English fruit and what peel What was mix. that first word? Old. Okay. <laughs> it is old. <laughs> but, but this comes from the company of Paradise Incorporated here in Plant City. This is a local product, so we don't want to knock them besides oh, they paid me a, a lot of money. I know a guy that works no, here and runs there and does a lot for it. Yes, no, they're very, no, they're it is fine excellent, folks, excellent. too, wonderful fine folks. folks, but we see don't believe it. See how they change their tune <laughs> when they know it's a local <laughs> company where the people can come and get you? Anyway, <laughs> to that, <laughs> right. what you want to do is you want to mix this up, but I, in, wait, we would take all day and I see we're running out of time. Just mix yeah, it yeah. all up, all right? And, and this got is it. real simple and easy. Everybody can do this at home. Got five models here today. Five models. Okay, now, once you've got it mixed, My see the is butter has already coated the pan, you put the lid on, open the vent in this case, put it on low heat, and this will cook in about 25, 30 minutes. I'm sorry. We you will guys better pay attention because <laughs> we're having a quiz on this. I don't, I don't see any fruit in all. there. There's no fruit in there. Well, this is, this is what it looks like when it's all finished. Oh, all right? okay. And all you've got to do is you put a plate on the top here, flip okay. it over. All right, now I, I loosened this before. You take a damp paper towel, put it on top. Take a what? And damp paper oh, towel. Oh, a damp paper towel. And there, oops, <laughs> side fall. But there's your fruit cake. Now, I made this one earlier. This one's made with rum. Ah. Okay. Mmm. Oh. Oh, it's absolutely. This is pretty mm. good. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Absolutely delicious. Mmm. Right. What you've just seen is our amaretto fruitcake. This is a great Christmas recipe. What you'll need for this is a two quart covered saucepan and a mixing bowl. Also, Use one of those nine, or it might be an eight and a half ounce yellow cake mix. I use the Jiffy cake mix. Use one of those little plastic containers, about eight or nine ounces of fruit and peel mix. I use Old English. Three ounces of raisins, which is one of the small boxes. A teaspoon of cinnamon. Two tablespoons of almonds chopped. You can use uh, walnuts if you like, but almonds taste better. Two whole eggs. One third a cup of amaretto. Now you can use rum if you like. In this particular recipe, as you've seen, we used amaretto. One tablespoon of dark corn syrup and three tablespoons of margarine, uh, preferably parquet. It has a nice taste and it, it coats the pan well. Now in the mixing bowl, what you want to do is combine all the ingredients except the margarine. Mix it thoroughly. To cook, you want to coat the inside of the pan with margarine. Place the cake mix in the pan. Cook over low heat with the vent open for 30 minutes. Now remove from the pan immediately by placing the pan on a wet paper towel. Make sure it's nice and cold. What that will do, it will loosen the sides of the cake and the bottom. Invert the cake on a plate and you're ready to serve. Now we always serve it at room temperature and use a chocolate chip mint ice cream with it. But you know, you can do what you like. This will serve six and it's only 14 grams of fat per serving. Good luck, good health. See you next time. To order the Harrison Company cookbook, I can't believe I ate the whole thing, you can call area code 813-888-6032, or you can send a check or money order for $8.88, plus $2.95 shipping and handling and tax, to Healthcraft, P.O. Box 262-502, Tampa, Florida, 33615. To order the Better Health Cookbook by Charles Knight, call area code 813-888-6032, 6032 or you can send a check or money order for $19.95 plus $3.95 shipping and handling plus tax to Healthcraft at P.O. Box 262-502, Tampa, Florida 33615.